Support WrestleTalk! Visit WrestleTalk.com Hello and welcome to the WrestleTalk News, I'm Ollie Davis. Press the thumbs up and leave a comment down below because I'll be replying to people from out of nowhere when this episode goes live. Where we very well might be talking about Crown Jewel being either moved to another country or cancelled completely. Every day seems to bring a new horrid development in the murder of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi by the Saudi Arabian government. Initially the country denied their involvement in the disappearance of Khashoggi Shogi at the Saudi consulate in Turkey. Then they admitted he'd been strangled to death after a fight had broken out there. And now the latest grim reports claim his dismembered body parts have been found in the Saudi consul general's garden. Meanwhile, in our little world of professional wrestling, WWE are putting on their crown jewel show in Saudi Arabia next Friday the 2nd of November as part of a huge money deal with the country in return for WWE helping promote Saudi Arabia's progressive values. Just like Michael Cole kept calling Jeddah such a beautiful progressive Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Back at the Greatest Royal Rumble. WWE's relationship with the country has come under intense mainstream scrutiny in the light of Khashoggi's death. With politicians and the public alike calling for WWE to, at the very least, move the crown jewel show somewhere else. And now WWE Hall of Famer and President of the United States Donald Trump has also begun to condemn South Saudi Arabia's actions, it seems WWE are finally being pushed to make a decision. Following reports that both John Cena and Daniel Bryan are refusing to work Crown Jewel, despite both being booked for matches, Robbie Fox of Barstool Sports has now tweeted, WWE is currently in the process of frantically scouting locations to move Crown Jewel to. This is not definite confirmation that it's out of Saudi Arabia, but the location and date are unquestionably in major jeopardy right now. The rap have followed this up with their own report, claiming a WWE insider has told them the company will make a decision today on whether to move Crown Jewel to another country or cancel it altogether, which at the time of recording still hasn't been announced. But before Crown Jewel, we've got WWE's all-women pay-per-view evolution this Sunday. Don't worry, you're not the only one who's forgot that's happening. I did too, as did this week's Raw and SmackDown. But it seems one of the cards top matches is to be scrapped. Alexa Bliss versus Trish Stratus was the first match to be announced for Evolution months ago in a bid to kickstart ticket sales. Even though WWE always planned to change it to a Bliss and Mickie James versus Trish and Lita tag match, which they did several weeks ago. But it appears WWE will have to change the match yet again, as WrestlingNews.co are reporting Bliss suffered a concussion at Saturday's live event in a spot with Ronda Rousey. Initially, it was thought to be a broken nose, but it was diagnosed as a concussion by the doctor backstage at Raw on Monday, and she was not cleared to compete, and was noticeably absent in the big Evolution Go Home angle on Monday's Raw, where it was Alicia Fox and Mickey who attacked Trish and Lita, with no Alexa in sight. Dave Meltzer has since corroborated the report, saying, Bliss suffered a concussion. I think it's pretty obvious watching the show that Alicia Fox is going to replace her if she can't go. Bliss has tweeted, however, she'll be debuting a new headband piece of merchandise at Evolution, so she'll likely appear at ringside if she isn't cleared in time to actually compete. It appears Bobby Lashley isn't in much better condition, with Meltzer revealing on Wrestling Observer Radio that he's been working hurt, and Finn Balor's roll-up victory on Monday's Raw might have been because Bobby could be taking time off to heal, as up until that point, Lashley had been built strongly, dominating his matches since turning in heel and even getting a new manager in Leo Rush. Following Roman Reigns heartbreakingly vacating the Universal title, we've ranked every other time the WWE Championship has had to be vacated in history. Click the link on screen now to find them out. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.